Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first edition of OHD TV. Here with Ed Pollock. First time tourist, how are you feeling, Ed? Yeah, looking forward to it. Slightly nervous, but it should be a good experience. Don't be so wooden, mate. <laughs> welcome to OHD TV. On the flight here from Birmingham to Doha, and then on to Abu Dhabi. Just here with uh, one of our new signings for the winter, Ollie Stone. Say hi, Ollie. So, Ollie, are you uh, looking forward to the tour? Hello. 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 Episode 2 of OHD TV. We're here with George Panay in Doha. Leg 2 of our trip. How are you doing, George? I'm very well, thank you all. How are you? How was leg 1? Yeah, it was tough. It was tough. Tough, tough flight? Tough, tough flight, you know. Six and a half hours. It takes a toll on the board. Sitting down, sitting down <laughs> is not very tough, man. You looking is, forward uh, to the tour? Yeah, of course I am. You've been on a few tours before? Been on a few, but not. I've been having a feeling England, this is... England under 19 haven't you, a few times? Yeah, a few times, but I have a feeling this is going to be a bit different. So, to the members who don't know George Panay, what is your favourite colour? Favourite colour? Red. Red. And do you football team you support? Arsenal. See, I'm trying to think of questions that might let the members get to know you a bit, bit better, but the most pressing question I would imagine on most members' lips is what is going on with the facial hair, George? Oh, it's... It's just something a bit different, like, yeah. Different, yeah. It just shows my character. Impersonate pirates at a weekend, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love a pirate. <laughs> well, have a good tour, George. Thank, Thank you very much, John. OHD TV here, episode three. With Chris Armstrong, SSC. Hello, hey, what, what have you been up to this morning? Um, so we've just had the bowlers in the pool, um, just making sure you big lads have travelled well. Um, just getting them ready um, for our two weeks here in uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. You had a good winter, mate? Yeah, it's not been too bad. The lads have uh, lads have behaved themselves in the gym and you know, done pretty much everything with Aston. Yeah, so, uh, lads looking strong to me. Looking all right. And I uh, understand you had a big day a few weeks ago. Big day? What was that? Big Chrissy Wokes' wedding. Yeah, to be fair, it's highlight highlight of my career so far. To be honest, best man, Chris Wokes. Best man. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I nailed the speech. Did you? Yeah. Well, by, by your own accord. Yeah, that is by my own accord. Uh, yeah. yeah, I've heard a few different rumours, but never mind. Anyway, yeah. Cheers. See you later. Comedy act. Cheers, guys. OHD TV episode 4. I'm here with Henry Brooks. How are you doing, Henry? I'm very well, thank you, Ollie. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. I'm pleased with you to tell the members. Am I right in thinking, at the end of the season back in England, you played a few second team games, but you were just a, you were an academy player for Warwickshire County Green Club, is that right? Indeed. And what's happened this winter? Talk me through it. I've been on a tour to uh, India. So first of all you got called up to the England of the 19s. I did. Yeah. Played how many games up there? I played five ODIs and two test matches. You got a few wickets as well, didn't you? I did, got yeah. a few wickets. Yeah. Enjoyed the, enjoy the experience? A few runs as well? Yeah. Few runs, yes. Good experience? Great experience. India, good nice country to visit. Yeah, lovely place. Oh, lovely place. And now you're on a and since then, since you've had a great tour with the England of the 19s, you've been you've been called up to come out on the uh, pre-season tour the Warwickshire you know, first team squad. I have. Happy I'm days, enjoying it so far? Enjoying myself. Great experience out here with the boys. We uh, we had a tough day today, didn't we? We have. We got in the nets. First day in the nets, absolutely scorching. So, just to let the members get to know you a little bit better, I'm going to ask everyone the same three questions. What is your favourite sport outside of cricket? My favourite sport outside of cricket, I'd probably say rugby. Who do you support? I don't support anyone, it's like watching it. You're near the league. League. Really? Um, what is your favourite TV show or film? Hawaii oh, Five-O. Really? <laughs> and who is your hero? My hero? Yeah. Oh. No, no, I mean like Warwickshire. Oh, uh, Warwickshire hero. Yeah. Probably Wokes. Wokes. No, like, like yeah. someone on the top. On the tour? <laughs> on the tour? Yeah. <laughs> I have to say you, Ollie. Really? My hero. Ah, yeah. embarrassing, cheers. <laughs> Day five on tour. We had an inter-squad game today. 
Bowlers versus batters. I'm here with Tiki Javid. Unfortunately, Tiki Javid has got the dreaded jock rot today. You're feeling a bit sore, are right, you, pal? Yeah, just down here mm. on my left cheek and my right cheek. Not good. So. Have you had a good winter, Tiki? Yeah, it's been a really good winter. I went away to Pakistan. Uh, I trained out there for about 18 days, worked on my batting and bowling against spin. So it was a good little pre season for me. And then, you, and then you came out here after that? Yeah, out here in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, uh, playing. So Very nice. Good. Did you enjoy it today? Yeah, it was really good. First first day out, 75 overs under the legs. Um, enjoyed ba uh, bowling. Uh, bowled about uh, 13 overs, so got through. Happy days. I thought you bowled really well. Day four on tour, gym day. Boys are smashing it. Six on tour with the Bears. I'm here with Gerhard Moster, the Bears legend. Physio for how many years now? 16. 16 years. Believe it or not, Fizz has a hat on tour that he's had for 17 years. It's older than Henry Brooks, isn't it? It is. It is. Have you had a good talk so far, Fizz? Not too bad, I'm not too busy. Have you had a good day today? What's been going on today? Uh, I think the lads was a bit tired today, mm. so um, I was a bit busier than normal. Okay. Sonny Singh is fit again. It's a miracle in itself. Um, second day of our inter-squad game today, so we've got a day off tomorrow. What are you doing with your day off, Fizz? We're going to have a rest day, a break from the boys. We're going to meet up with some friends. Friends? I didn't think you had any of I've got okay. some way, yeah, okay. some Africans. Yeah. Well, I hope you have a nice rest day, Fizz, and I'm going to leave you with one thought. Yeah. Why do people in Dubai not like the Flintstones? <laughs> because people in Yabba Dabba do! Oh, HDTV here. I'm here with Chris Wright, Bears legend. Thanks. You're welcome. Anytime. Um, Righty, please will you tell the viewers what's been happening in the last few days. Uh, aside from my nose being really burnt, uh, we just played a two day friendly against Worcestershire, which has gone really well. So. Um, I think we came out on top probably, uh, I think the scores were reflected that, but we made sure the bowlers got through a decent amount of overs, uh, and obviously the batsmen had a good, good amount of time in the middle. So what is interesting, that we during our um, internal game, Chris had an, a watch on that told him his mileage. We played. Yeah. We were in 75 overs in the field, we each was bowled, bowled 10 bowlers each, and what was your mileage for the day? It was 20Ks mileage and I think 5,000 calories burned. So 20 um, k's in yeah, a day where you only yeah, feel like, 75 overs and ball 10 overs, which is, which is Yeah, so we won't do that, mate. well, sorry, we will do plenty more than that in the summer, uh, hopefully. Um, but obviously maybe the heat accounts for a little bit, but mm. yeah, it's been a really, really good last couple of days. We're back to the hotel at now, oh, the time is, sorry about that, time is eight o'clock. We've just been doing a quiz night for the lads, me and Ryder are quiz masters. Ryder, can you give the viewers one question from the quiz? Okay, Oliver Hannon Dalby, He's six foot eight tall, he's a butcher's assistant, and he has size 13 feet. What does he weigh? Great question. That's my question. My question to the members is, who scored the second highest ever first class score for Warwickshire County Greek Club? And what is the score? Answers on a postcard to Chris Wright and Oliver hannon Dolby. Yeah, or on Twitter or Facebook yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Edge Baston, Birmingham, B5, Absolutely. 7QU. Cheers, guys. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Fizz? Okay. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last episode of OHD TV. I'm here with the main man, Jim Troughton. They do know. They're good. They're yeah. quite similar, don't they? Mm. Jim, how's your tour been, mate? I, I think it's been a good tour. Well organised, well structured. Even if you say so yourself, yeah. 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 Uh, now the guys are putting a really good shift. Uh, played some good cricket, good competitive cricket. Found out a few things about some younger guys. Confirmed a few things about the older guys, which is good. But they're um, all getting too old. <laughs> um, and yeah, had a good sort of bit of bonding as well. Um, which is all part of that. Good quiz I heard. Yeah, good quiz. Band, yeah. good quiz, solid questions, solid questions. Um, now, I'm, I'm sure I speak for us all when I say we all yeah. um, we all want to get home quickly. Yeah. As it stands, we've just been delayed. Our flight in, in uh, Dubai to Doha is delayed, meaning we've missed our flight from Doha to Birmingham, yeah. meaning we are probably going to be sat in and around these sort of seats for the next 24 hours. And especially sat opposite him. It'll make your 24 hours go a lot quicker. OHD TV, we are not home yet. We are 18 hours into our journey home and we are stuck in Doha. As it stands, we might get home. You are looking at four broken men. That man's broken. We might get home in 36 hours. And that is a bit of chocolate muffin on my mouth, yeah. You booze! 48 hours after we checked out of our hotel, we are back in Birmingham. You booze! <laughs>